Hello. No, who I am. My name is Julian, and I'm going to show you how to turn iToy USB camera for PS2 into a nice quality webcam. Okay. I already had mine installed, but I uninstalled mine, so I can show you what to do. First thing you want to do is you want to go into control panel. You, whichever way, you might have it like this, and then switch to classic view, and then go to system. Go into the tab that says hardware, and then device manager. Then what you want to do is you want to plug in your iToy. If the light turns on, that's a good thing. You might get this, which is really dumb. Just cancel that or whatever you need to do, and then it'll. And then in Device Manager, you'll see that you'll see in Imaging Devices something with an exclamation mark. It'll say Logitech iToy USB Camera, or it might be. Nantai iToy USB camera. I'm not exactly sure what the difference is, but it matters, whichever one. Um, you can download whichever one you have. Um, I have them listed in the uh, description. So, then what you want to do is you want to hit right click on it and then hit update driver. Then you'll have two options, install from a list or specific location. And then it'll say, and then uncheck search removable media, and check, include this location in the search. And then, you want to select whichever file it is, which, it's probably going to say Logitech I probably going to say like Logitech iToy drivers or Nantai iToy drivers and you want to double click on that or hit OK and then hit next. Give it a minute, it might take a little bit. Not exactly the fastest installing thing but I mean it's good enough for me. Dance, man. Dance. Dance all over that computer. Dance on the back. Yeah, it, it takes a little bit, but it's worth it. I mean, it's a ten, it's a good ten dollar camera. All right, and then it'll say you'll get this message. It'll say hardware installation, and then you, it's okay to hit continue anyway. It's not gonna like. I mean, there's nothing on here that'll. There's like no data in here that can really screw up your computer. I mean, might I mean, it might run a little bit slow, but not. It, but I mean, I don't have that much RAM. On my computer it runs pretty good. Then look at this really weird message. It just has a bunch of question marks. I just hit OK. I don't have no idea what that means. All right, now. Then you'll get this other message. It says, to avoid image flickering, you have to set the power frequency area. If you live in European countries, Australia, Australia India, or India, then you want to hit yes. If you live in American countries, Japan, Korea, South Korea, and Taiwan, then you want to hit no. In this case, I'm in America, so 
I hit no. And then it says it's finished. So then you just hit finish. And then, um, you can close out of everything else. Then, go, if you go into the folder where you extracted the, f um, drivers, there's two pro- there are, two, yeah, two programs. One's called AMCAP, AMCAP, EXE, and then VideoCAP32. Either one is a good way to test out your camera or whatever. See? And then it's really weird when you do this. If you aim, you have it in full screen and then you aim the camera right at the screen. Really weird, but it's really cool. It's a glimpse of infinity. Oh, that is cool. Alright, well... That is the basics. Anyway, that's all there is to it. Um, you might have to like go to options, and then you might have to click, hit preview, and then just kind of screw around with this stuff, like the, like the video capture or something like that. I have mine set up all the way. Then you can change the resolution, and that kind of that kind of makes it like a better detail. The spinning vortex of doom, and that's really all there is to it. Enjoy your $10 webcam.